So Kyle, how pleased are you to be joining Rovers? Yeah, delighted to be back. Um, you know, it's been 15 years since I was here on loan from Barnsley as a player. Um, I know a lot about the club. Um, I live local. So, you know, it was a no-brainer in the end when, when Grant gave me the phone call. And um, yeah, delighted. So why is this the right club for you? Uh, like I just said, um, local, uh, the ambition of the club uh, shouldn't be a League Two club in my opinion. Um, and when Grant spoke to me and he showed me his ambition for the place, he matched, he matched my ambition. Um, and to work with Grant, everybody I spoke to that works with Grant, um, I spoke very highly of him. And it's something I wanted to do, himself and Cliff um, working together and hopefully we can have a great relationship going forward. And of course, this isn't your first time at the club, is it? No, like I just explained, obviously I'd, um, I came on loan from nearly 15 years ago now. That, you know, that made me feel old. Um, but I came on loan from Barnsley as a second choice goalkeeper. Uh, Neil Sullivan was a keeper at the time. Uh, Lee Butler was a keeper coach. And um, to be fair, the, the experience stood me in good stead for the rest of my career, watching the likes of Neil Sullivan working day in, day out. Uh, watching a top keeper coach in Lee Butler uh, take me for nearly three months um, and I only went on to sort of my, my career sort of progress from there so uh, thankful for the opportunity they give me at the time. You mentioned there uh, Grant and Cliff and working together how excited are you joining up with Grant and Cliff? Grant again obviously as you've played with him at Barnsley previously. Yeah I was um, as a young boy at, at Barnsley when Grant was in the first team and uh, um, just kept the relationship since then really um, and every, like I said everybody I've spoke to regarding Grant um, has just said, you know, said all, all the right things really and I want to work with that sort of, them sort of people. Um, fantastic coach with himself and Cliff as well and hopefully I can add to the staff department and make um, the goalkeeping union uh, one of the best in, in this division hopefully. What do you know about the goalkeepers that you're going to be working with here? Yeah, we've um, obviously recruited uh, Ian Lawler. Obviously, he had a great time the year before, and then he went up to Scotland. Um, good experience, great height, um, can kick a long ball. Obviously, then we've got Louis, um, who's got uh, a great pedigree. Obviously, local lad as well. Um, something I love working with a keepers of them age. To be, you know, he's still got development years in him, and hopefully, I can progress him on to become, you know. Uh, a good goalkeeper, if not for Doncaster, you know, for, for wherever he goes in his career. Hopefully, I can improve him, and that's that, that's what I'm here for to improve the goalkeepers and make sure we have one of the best, if not the best, goalkeeping department in in League Two. You were in League Two yourself last season. How do you assess the division and the challenge that the Rovers have got next year? Yeah, it's a it's a it's a tough league. Um, you need men. You need um, you need to stand up to when the you know the balls are getting thrown in your box. Um, and you need good players within that that can score goals. Uh, so obviously defensively robust, you know, clean sheets as a you know ex goalkeeper and goalkeeping coach is something that I pride myself on. And you know if we can keep the back door shut and obviously you know Grant's uh, explained to me upstairs two minutes ago you know what he's looking to bring in and it's, it's an uh, exciting time to be here, um, especially after the time that he had year before. And I imagine you're itching to get going. Yeah, um, I don't like the off-season, you know, very itchy, very, just want to get back to work and, you know, be with the keepers day in, day out. Um, being on the grass is what I love. Obviously, the transition from playing to coaching has been smooth um, and it's something I, I always wanted to do. Um, so I've got my, my keeper badges in, uh, all my goalkeeping licences in nice and early and it's uh, enabled me now to, you know, hopefully I can have a better coaching career than I did playing, hopefully. That's the, that's the task.